Hello you fantastic people and welcome back to Borderlands 3. Today I have another legendary weapons guide for you guys. This one, a grenade. I think it's the first grenade I've done and it is called Moxie's Bouncing Pair. And yes, exactly what you're thinking is what they intended for you to think the second you read it. Uh, the grenade itself is actually not too bad. Moxie's weapons are usually comical, but this one's actually pretty decent. It's not overpowered or anything like that. It's just kind of a decent grenade to use while particularly doing a playthrough, I would say. First, the stats. Damage, 3,416. Radius, 261. It is rubberized and also has a bouncing pair in there. Uh, damage, 2,921 damage per second of fire with 45% chance. The red text reads, prepare for trouble and make a double, which is a Pokemon reference, Team Rocket, if you guys watch Pokemon. Reprise grenades bounce. Each bounce increases explosion damage and radius. Now, before we go any further, if you guys haven't played the game through at all, there is a massive spoiler alert for the story. If you're watching Legendary Weapons Guides, you're gonna get spoilers for bosses, for just general storyline. So, spoiler alert for that. Now for the best part, and likely why you're all here, is how the heck do you get this grenade? Is it difficult to get? Where do you have to farm? And how long is it gonna take? Now, at risk of sounding like a broken record when making these Legendary Weapons Guides, this is a world drop. Now, that means you can get it from a whole bunch of random places. To my knowledge, there's no mission to get it. Moxie doesn't give it to you herself. I don't believe she gives it to you via tipping or anything like that. If I'm wrong, please correct me in the comment section if there is a guaranteed way to get it. It is not on the internet yet. I searched for about an hour trying to find out if there was anyone that got it from a particular place. But I haven't found it. So if you've got it somewhere else, leave it down in the comment, the comment section down below so everyone knows how to get it. Uh, but currently, it's the 8th of October and it is a world drop to my knowledge. I personally got it from The Destroyer. I've also got it from Grave Ward and I've seen uh, like a few people in the comment sections of other videos that they've got it just from you know random drops. Katagawa Ball is one of them. Uh, a random Varkid boss, classic. It can spawn in toilets. It's just for random because it's world drops and they go everywhere. Um, so if you've seen any of these videos before, any of my legendary guides, for the start of October at least, I have sent everyone to Eden 6 all the way down to the floating tomb because Grave Ward is by far the easiest guy to farm. He drops the most legendary world drops. He doesn't kill you very often at least. The only thing he can kill you via really is throwing you off the map as long as you're geared and stacked or whatever. And it's just a super easy farm. There's plenty of other ways to go about it if you're you know sick of Grave Ward, which I don't blame you for. Uh, but if you're farming any vault monsters, make sure you check out the vault chests. I've said this a few times as well. They actually drop legendary uh, weapons, if you didn't know that already. They refresh every like 15 minutes, so you can't go in every time you kill them. But if you go in like, you know, every five, six kills, depending on how quickly you're destroying this guy, um, you can go into the vault, check the chests. I get legendaries pretty regularly from there. Worth checking out. But yeah, that is my recommendation is to go via Grave Ward because he just drops an absolutely ridiculous amount of legendaries and he's just super easy. Now, the best part about legendary weapons guides, if you guys have got this grenade or if you eventually get it, don't forget to leave a comment down below if you have any different variations, any like prefixes, suffixes in the name, any random bonuses, any different elements. Let us know in the comment section down below so you know we can all find out if we can get different ones and where you got it as well, just in case you know there's a better way about getting it. Um, to my knowledge, Grave Ward is probably the easiest for you guys to kill and get legendary weapons like this. But just quickly, I'll show you guys how this grenade works. I won't go against mobs because the damage on grenades have been changed a lot in the first month of the game. So I'll just show you guys how it acts in the world and not its damage because it could change. So if you want this grenade and want to see how much damage it does, it is pretty strong right now. I recommend getting it. It's a pretty worthy grenade. Uh, and you guys can check out how much damage it does for you guys. But in game, if you throw the grenade, it bounces on the ground. It is a bouncing pair. So it does actually throw a second grenade. The second one being electric, um, as you saw, one fire, one electric. Even though my grenade only says it does fire damage, it also does the electric one, you know, destroying shields, which is pretty dope. I assume the electric, electric damage is the same amount as the fire damage. Could be wrong, but that's my assumption. Um, the best thing is it bounces off all different surfaces. So like if I throw it in that corner, it sometimes gets stuck, but there you go. It freaks out and goes in random directions, which means it's not the greatest grenade for like one mob. But if you're doing a playthrough or circle of slaughter and there's a big like group of enemies, just throw it in there and it'll just destroy a big area of them, at least damage them. And after every bounce, it's doing more damage. So the longer it's bouncing, the more damage it's doing to those mobs. The, an added thing, a massive bonus for Moxie's uh, weapons generally, grenades in Borderlands 2 especially, uh, Moxie's grenades heal you. So any damage it does, it a percentage comes back as like little health pluses floats on the screen and comes back to you and it regens your health, which is 
awesome. If you're you know, in a circle of slaughter, you're about to go down, throw out a grenade and you'll get pretty much instant regen of health, which is just another added bonus. But yeah, that is all I have for Moxie's Bouncing Pair. I hope this video helps you guys out. And if you enjoyed it, don't forget to smash subscribe down below. I make a whole bunch of Borderlands 3 legendary weapons, grenades, shields, guides, all of that sort of stuff. Like hints, tips, funny quotes, playthroughs, all that sort of stuff. If you're interested in any of that, don't forget to smash subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And don't forget to leave comments down below if you got this grenade and where you got it and what kind you have. And uh, yeah, till the next video, I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day. Adios.